Good morning guys, this is Safety Sally out here in the woods on a cool breezy Saturday morning to talk about axe safety. And a big part of that, before we go to bucking and perhaps splitting on the ground, is making sure that our axe is in bucking shape. And for that, I carry this small hard honing stone. And in between limbing and bucking, I just make sure that my axe is sticky as a cat's paw. Wow, it took a little bit more than I wanted there. Shave and clean. All right, we got our safety gear on and we got our ax honed and we're ready to buck. All the same principles apply when splitting on a block. We wanna make sure the area is clear. We wanna make sure there's nothing overhead that could catch our ax, nothing hanging off our sides. We got all that, all the boxes are ticked. Now, what is bucking? Well, in the simplest layman terms I can think of, it's cutting a V notch on either side of the log in order to chunk it down to split for firewood. And in order to do that and stay safe, again, and you're going to get sick of me saying this, but accuracy is the thing that's going to keep you safe above all else. The second thing, the second technique anyway, that may keep you safe above everything else is stance. So let's talk about stance and how that can keep you safe. So far as stance is concerned, there seems to be two methods that have been adopted and adapted throughout the years. The first I'm going to call the American method, though I highly doubt this was founded in America. It's just an intuitive stance where you face the log at a 90 degree angle and swing the axe at a 45 degree angle over your shoulders. Probably if you've seen somebody swing an axe before, this is the method that you've seen. However, I'm going to suggest you use what I'll call the European method, though again, doubt it was founded in Europe. Just an intuitive, another intuitive stance, but this time you're going to face the log at a 45 degree angle and swing directly above your head, bringing the axe directly above your nose and down, and then move your feet behind the log, bring your axe directly above your head and down again, cutting your notch that way. I think this is safer because it's more accurate, because you're swinging straight down. And if you happen to miss this way, there's a greater chance the ax could come into your shin. Whereas using the European method, if you miss, there's a chance it could go in between your legs. But again, accuracy is king. If I haven't said already, you want your notch to be about as wide as the log is in diameter on either side. That'll usually take you halfway through and then you'll be able to sever it from the other side using that same technique. Let's go ahead and get another notch in here and see what talking points come up. But remember, you don't have to use all your might at first. Just stack those cuts. So bottom, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top. Don't try to cut through the log. Just think about making those cuts. Bottom, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top. And the chips will come off. Bottom, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top. You could reverse that here and go top, middle, oops, bottom if you prefer. But I like to stay bottom, middle, top. You can mark out where you want to make your notch to make sure that you're uh, stacking your cuts properly and not just getting lucky. So you could do it like this with an ax. That's where I want to hit. In all seriousness, guys, bucking really is the most dangerous part of this whole process. You might argue that felling is more dangerous, and as a one-off, that's probably true if you're not familiar with the lean and lay of a tree. But given that you're going to be bucking far more than any other part of this process, it's most likely that you're going to hurt yourself doing this. You also really can't avoid the frontal zone. I mean, you're swinging the axe directly at your feet, so if you miss, you're probably going to get hurt. So it might be wise to wear some extra uh, safety gear here. Wear some uh, shin guards or chain mail, at the very least some, some uh, still-toed boots. Just a thought.
It's always the very bottom chip that's hard to remove last. You're gonna wanna try to hit that with the heel of your ax to protect the toe of your ax from going in the dirt. Like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this log bucked up and I'll cut in some of that footage, but unless something comes up, I don't have a whole lot more to say about bucking safety. It's pretty much the same stuff. Edge consciousness and accuracy are king. Um, feet placement are a little bit more important in this than in the other processes. Keep your feet out of the way. I mean, that goes without saying. Vary the, your head swing on this. Pull your punches, so to speak, initially, and then you can go whole hog once you're comfortable with your accuracy. Stack those cuts and remove chips as big as sushi plates and you're on your way to splitting. I'm from the back now. I have a notch all the way down this side of the log. And uh, when you're doing this, you uh, will benefit from not actually severing the log all the way through and leaving it intact until you get notches all the way down this side and then you can bust them off for splitting. It'll just keep the log more steady for you. If the log's moving on you too much, this is something you can try though. You're always gonna be fighting some movement. You can get one of your chips, wedge it under there some, maybe find a stick on either end. That'll help a little bit. Maybe we'll jam one in the back there. It's a little bit more difficult and therefore a little bit more dangerous when the log gets shorter like this and starts moving around, but same principles apply. Just take your time. There's Joe's plane again. Just take your time, move your feet, and vary your swing. Like it could bust apart in any minute here. So I want to make sure that uh, if it does, we've got a clear shot right there. I prefer to actually uh, swing away from myself here with more power and bust it that way. There it goes. One more hit should do it. Again, guys, let's not forget why we're out here in the first place. Relax a little, do a little reading, do a little writing, a little thinking little R&R. &R. I'll catch you guys in a minute and we'll talk about the uh, 100 subscriber giveaway. You guys crushed it. All right guys that's about all I got time for today but I want to talk about the 100 subscriber giveaway. I said that if we got 100 subscribers on this channel by the end of October I would do an axe giveaway and you guys crushed it. We got 128 subscribers and it's mid-September so I mean Thank you sincerely. I started this sort of on a whim during the COVID lockdown just as something to do. And I wasn't sure I was going to continue it, but it's been fun to sort of drag a camera with me in the woods and try to improve the quality with each video. So yeah, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I am going to do an axe giveaway. I already got the axe in question. It's just a matter of uh, working out the details. So here they are. You have to live in the United States. It's just too expensive for me to ship something overseas. It would be you know, worth more than the ax. So got to live in the United States. You got to comment in this video and say you're in for the 100 ax uh, subscriber giveaway. And let me know that you would actually use a splitting ax. That's what it's going to be. I thought about this and I realized it's a little bit different than the sort of thing I normally do on the channel, but um, what most people are doing with axes are splitting firewood to heat their house. And I think that's fantastic. So I wanted it to be something you could use and abuse. And this ax is, I already got it. It's different than anything you've seen on the channel. It's a tank of an ax. And I think you guys are gonna like it. So brand new, brand new ax. All you gotta do is comment in the doobly doo below. Let me know you're in for the 100 ax giveaway. And I will let you know who the winner is in the next video. And then we'll work out the details from there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.